Mate, where does that sit in uh, career achievements? I know you've won the World Cup this year as well, but where does this one sit with this group of players? Uh, I th it's pretty special to be honest, given we've got such a, a young group for them to be able to come together and achieve what we did tonight and throughout the tournament. Um, yeah, I think it was incredible. Was there a time during the tournament, or maybe a bit of the semi-final, where you wondered whether it might come together or not? Oh, you know what, I think we just got on a, a little bit of a roll towards the back end at the right time, and I think the team just had really positive energy the whole time throughout the tournament, and it just felt like something was going to happen. And even when we lost some of the games, um, I knew what we were capable of. So it was just about giving people confidence, making sure they're really clear on what it was they had to do in different times. Um, so yeah, I'm just so happy that we were able to do what we did tonight. A couple of the like, few of the key players have played that have come in this season. How satisfying is that when you're maybe not rebuilding a side, but bringing filling some key spots that they then deliver in the first season? Yeah, it's been huge. I think, you know, Sammy Jo Johnson, she's been outstanding for us. And even, I think that shone through the last two games, just her experience under pressure and reassuring the team. Um, yeah, it really helped me, obviously, Heather Knight as well, just to have those senior players around, just to keep things calm um, and, and help the younger players just learn um, on the run. It's been really good. And Rach, did you think that those close games were the time that they lost A little bit. I think we actually played some of our best cricket when we were under pressure and, and that sort of really shone through. Um, Throughout the season, obviously against the the Hurricanes, but also um, you know in the heat as against the heat, we won some some big moments. Um, so yeah, it's it's um, a funny game cricket, uh, particularly this format. I think it, it brings teams closer together, and it sometimes just takes a couple of moments to swing momentum. And um, yeah, you know I think as I said, our players just really rolled on um, with what we were able to gather from the semi final. Yeah, look, oh, well, obviously we put her down early as well. I was sort of ruining that a little bit, but um, same thing. We just knew if we kept plugging away, I thought um, Ismail was exceptional with the ball, um, got a lot out of the wicket, and so did Sammy Joe. Um, so I wanted to try and keep them bowling as long as I could and, and try and um, snag a, a couple of other wickets. So. Yeah, it just shows, you know, big players really stood up in, in key moments tonight. Um, and yeah, it was it was good fun out there. What's the limit for Sammy Joe? Like obviously she's won three WBBLs in a row now, she tends to impress in big games. Is there a cap on her? Is there a limit of how fast can No, I, I reckon she's got so much more to, to offer and, and um, grow in her game. I think there's so much upside. Um, as I said, for me, the thing that really stood out was just how composed she was in big moments. Um, I think that's a, a really good sign of a, a quality player, um, someone who wants to be part of those those moments and, and contribute as well. So, yeah, as I said, she's been awesome for us this year. You're a bit of a magnet for the ball tonight, for Cap. I know. I know. I don't know why that was happening, but it was following me everywhere. Um, Pull one down as well, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah, just one of those things. I think the, the ball sort of followed me around. I was able to hold on to them, which was nice. Just on the uh, power play again, you guys have been good in the power play throughout the season, but how good was that six overs? Yeah, yeah, with the, with the ball, that was exceptional. Um, I, I thought our bowlers just did a really good job just taking advantage of the conditions, and it was tricky early for the, for the batters, um, but yeah, in saying that, they didn't give them much, I reckon that was probably our, our best bowling performance um, for the season, to be honest. So, yeah, it's nice that they really brought it for such a big game. Do you think Ned for batting first at some point once it's died down? Uh, what was that, sorry? Do you think Ned for batting first? You, you guys wanted to bowl first, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, we, we wanted to bowl first. So, um, yeah, I haven't really been great at winning the bat flip the whole tournament. So, um, yeah, sometimes when you get what you want, um, having lost the the toss, it's um, it's nice. So yeah, we were really happy to bowl first. You get out of the hub now. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait. Um, I think some of our girls could spend another couple of weeks in there, to be honest. But I'm going to be out of there first thing tomorrow, I reckon. Um, but yeah, I think we'll we'll probably have a a nice lunch or something together and really celebrate the season. Um, thank everyone who's been involved in, in the club for all their efforts. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting home. I just finally, Rach, how does it feel to get your second WBBL title with such a young group and you're the only other part that was involved in that season? Sam Banks, she now has a medal around again. Yeah, it's, it feels really special. I feel like we've probably come into both of those final as underdogs and, and people probably didn't have high expectations of us um, coming into both of those seasons. So I think we showed a, a lot of character throughout the, the year and 
um, it's exciting to think where this group could get to over the next couple of years. So yeah, we'll definitely enjoy tonight. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's just a, a great achievement.